What's going on guys, it's Ghosty here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be hopefully helping you improve at your air control while flying. And now this first thing that I do is something I do every time I get on the game just to warm up and make sure my I get used to my controls that day because every day you feel different in this game, or at least I do. So I try and just warm up with a consistent schedule and do some basic things that help me get into the custom trainings that I'll show you. So this first thing is just turning off your ball cam and flying as while air rolling as much as possible and trying to hit the crossbar on the other goal. This just helps build consistency while you're air rolling and get you used to flying in different situations like air rolling because you need to hit the air roll to hit the ball in sometimes or else you don't have an angle. Air rolling also helps you position your car and turn your car so you can be in a good situation to hit the ball or give yourself an opportunity to hit the ball. Now this first custom training is called double jump aerials. I personally enjoy this training because I will play it a lot and not try and make it easy for myself. I'll try and air roll or fly in different positions or whatever just to make it as hard as possible on myself because if I make it because if you make it easy on yourself you're never going to get better at your car control you only get better by trying new things and more awkward things that are going to help you learn how to do those new awkward things and then you can eventually implement them in your games like even even if I score I don't always go to the next shot because I might not like the shot I just scored or just want to make it more accurate or more powerful or whatever just so it's harder on myself just set high expectations for yourself in your custom training and don't settle for anything below them I think this one's a perfect example like that could have been a good shot but I didn't even let it go in the net because it wasn't straight in so I did it again and got it more powerful and like you see me here not hitting every shot right away where I could just fly normal instead of opening up to the ball and then turning backwards to try and hit it with my nose it's just because I know that when you when I hit it with my nose it's gonna be more powerful and the only way I can hit it with my nose and into the net is if I'm backwards and above the ball now this next custom training is called aerial shots pass it's another thing I do pretty consistently to help get warmed up or just improve on my mechanics. And like this training pack is a perfect example of how easy or how hard you can make it on yourself. Like you could just go up to the net and single jump and fly and hit the ball in and have a goal and move on to the next shot. Or you could try and air roll and fly high and come low and score while your car is in a more awkward position than it normally would be so you can eventually get better and again just air rolling as much as I can just to make it more difficult to fly from half court here and it's not necessarily about how well you can do it right now it's about how much it'll help in the long term this isn't essentially for immediate it's for the future right there again if I really wanted to score that I could have just drove in that and probably not even jumped same here but here I'm trying to turn around fly backwards just so I can score in different ways ways that will eventually be useful in the future also try to once I score once I'll try and do it faster so I can just fly into the ball faster and get a harder shot now next we're going to be doing some workshop maps so i'm sorry if you're on console but if you're on pc try out speed jump and this thing is a pretty it's a pretty simple map but it is useful in the sense where you're going to be flying the entire time to complete this map i'm going to show you guys a little bit of the map i'll show you about the first four levels or so but again with this just try and make it as hard as possible on yourself because making anything in your life easy isn't going to help you it's all you gotta 
if you want to improve, you got to do something that you're not comfortable with or you're not necessarily the best at. And eventually, if you keep working at it, you'll get better at it. So you even see me mess this part up, and I'll mess many parts of this map up. But if I wanted to just fly down and stall myself by feathering my boost, I could. But I'm trying to air roll and just make it different and new for myself. See, like there, I lost my control, but that's eventually just gonna get my control is gonna catch up to what I'm trying to do. Not much else to say about this part, it's just perfect example. No matter how you, good you are, there's always new things you can try, and no one is perfect at this game. Not even pros are perfect. You see them mess up all the time. It's all about just trying to be the best you can and eventually you will be the best you can if you do everything like practice like this and make everything as hard as possible for yourself yeah, this this one's pretty straightforward so I'm gonna show you how like I'm trying to position my car in different ways fly backwards and it flying backwards is understandably difficult because a lot of the things like when you want to turn left you have to put your stick to the right so it's basically the exact opposite of everything you do it's an unfortunate flip there but this is again just a good example of trying to position your car using air roll so you can just fly right through them without having to move your joystick much This one's kind of difficult because you need to time your speed right coming off of this so you don't go over or it doesn't mess up your camera. But like this one's pretty self straightforward after this. It's not that hard. So there's some levels and now here's I think it's the last one I'm going to show you guys and then I'll get on to the next workshop map. But this one you just you're just trying to get speed into those like curved ramps and then just shoot out in a good spot. Obviously, I didn't do that there. But like here, just at the beginning, you could just go straight down, or you could try and air roll and turn your car as much as you want. Like either way, it's you're gonna get to the same point. It's just how much, how easy or how difficult do you want to make it on yourself? Like you don't, no one's in this is watching you. No one is making you air roll or fly or turn. But it's all about what. If you want to get better and, and you want to do this, then you will get better. But just doing the same stuff, like flying normal, not turning, not air rolling, it's not going to help you get better with your car control. Because eventually you're going to need to be able to shoot in different positions and you won't be able to. Now this map is made by Lethemir, it's his rings map that he just recently made. Now these first levels are not that difficult, but this one gets really difficult in the end, so it's probably more for intermediate or hard on this on this rating, I guess I would say. But yeah, this is like just the last one I said. Just try and do the most awkward stuff you can, because if you're gonna do it easy, there's almost no point at doing it at all if you're gonna make it easy for yourself. Like, I don't have to air roll there, but I'm doing that to try and get control out of my air roll and complete it. This one here is kind of difficult, but this one is huge with positioning your car using air roll. You see, I messed up there. I got too close to it, but I think this one here, I'm going to get it. But you see how I'm positioning my car just so I have to boost and I'm going to be through the, each ring. And this one's air rolling so I can get back to the middle and then beat it. Another example of this coming up. Just turning my car with air roll to position it better. And just feathering my boost, controlling my speed till I can get through this. This is the last level I'm going to show you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe.